What's going on guys? Spencer here with HM Massage. I hope you guys are having a good day because my day is going pretty well. Today I have a self ankle massage I wanted to show you. This can really help if you happen to injure your ankle, if you rolled it or sprained it, or if you're just standing all day at a job where you're not moving that much and you're kind of stuck in one position. Your feet and ankles can get pretty tired. So I wanted to show you guys this routine. It's very quick, very easy, and it can help stop any pain or tension you have going on in those ankle joints. Let's get into it. Just a disclaimer, if you've injured your ankle in the last two days, ice it instead and don't do the massage. After two days, it's out of the acute injury phase, and then you're good to go. Our big focus with the ankle is working right around these areas. They're called the malleoli of the ankle joint, or basically your ankle bones. And a lot of the muscular tendons wrap around these bony processes. So this is where we're gonna do a lot of focus work. So we're gonna start off with just compressions in the area, firm but gentle, and make sure you encompass the entire ankle. From there, go in and find the ankle bones and just do a little bit of circular friction using our fingertips. Make sure to work the areas all around the bones. We're not actually pressing directly onto the bone. That doesn't feel so good. Slide down behind and under the ankle bones and go up and down in a cross fiber friction. Going up and down is important because we're going against the direction of the Achilles tendon, the calcaneal tendons, and all the other calf and foot muscles that are kind of located there. Do it on the front also, same up and down, to hit all the tibial tendons and kind of the dorsal or top of the foot. Now that the entire joint is warmed up, we're gonna roll your ankle to the outside. Don't do this if it hurts, or don't push yourself if it hurts and then we're gonna work the inside of the ankle joint. The reason we roll it to the outside is to kind of shorten the inside muscles, making it easier to get in a little bit deeper. And then we'll do the same thing by rolling the foot inward and working on the outside ankle tendons and muscles. Once again, going all around those ankle joints, but not directly on them. And with the palms of your hands, throw in some vibration on those ankle joints, just because it feels really good. Moving on, you know I love my pin and stretches, so we're gonna pin down above our ankle and then circumduct our ankle, or basically roll it in a circle. Then pin down the sides of your calves and do the same thing. This increases range of motion, helps to break up kind of where the scar tissue has adhesed, and really helps to get some blood flow into the area. And feel free to play around with how you move your ankle. Here I'm grabbing just outside to my shin bone, and then I'm simply pulling my foot downward instead of doing a circumduction. And ready, set, more vibration. Vibration is just such a great tool for really mobile joints in loosening up all the tight tendons and all the connective tissues. Work the back of the Achilles and pinch up into the calf. Remember, the ankle joint is just caught in between tight feet and tight calves, so it's important to work those as well when addressing any ankle issues. This is a good opportunity to do some trigger point work as well. Basically, any area you feel very tender, just hold it for about 5 to 10 seconds. And the way we end out this massage is going to be with some Indian burns. Essentially, you'll see me alternating my hands both up and down across the ankle here, and then back and forth across the ankle here. This is just to bring blood flow, some good warmth through the area, and help to mobilize all the tight areas. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope this helped and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out the channel and subscribe for more health, fitness, and massage related content every week. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, I'll see you next time.